Christ 17 TV, baby. Back at you with another one. Got some good news and some bad news. You know what I'm saying? Brittany Griner has been released from Russian prison and she's on the plane home coming back to the U.S. That's the good news. I don't wish jail on nobody. The bad news is they trade her for an arms dealer. Victor Bout. He served 15 years of his 25 years. Nicknamed the Merchant of Death. It's an ill-ass name. Straight villain name, right? Straight, straight villain. So you telling me you're going to trade the villain for a basketball player when there's also another guy named Paul Whelan, a Marine, that is in Russian custody still. Since 2018, he's got a 16-year sentence and served four already, and you're not going to bring him home. So, allegedly, he's accused of spying, espionage, the same stuff. But if he was sent on a mission by the government, and they left him hanging out there, but they're going to bring home a WNBA player who knew she wasn't supposed to take motherfucking vape pens to Russia because the laws is way different. What's that saying? What's that saying? You leaving this dude hanging, you sent on a mission to go spy for the country, but you're going to trade an arms dealer, an arms dealer who got hit with 25 years in the United States, you're going to trade him for somebody who got caught with a vape pen? No disrespect to Brittany. I'm glad that she's home. I'm glad she's coming home for the holidays to her family. But how do you leave your own Marine out there stranded and you didn't include him in the deal? And how do you let this... this uh? Victor Bout guy go, the merchant of death. I'm going to keep saying that name because that shit sound like some shit off a fucking movie. The merchant of death. Victor Bout, the arms dealer, served 15 years out of his 25-year sentence. You're going to trade him for a WNBA player that caught with a vape instead of getting the Marine out first? Like I said, no disrespect to Brittany. I'm glad that that she's home. But come on now, seriously, seriously though, seriously, come on, that's like trading Aaron Judge for some minor league player, I'm not going to lie to you, that's the same shit, the crimes are way different here, so I'm glad that she's home, I'm glad she gets to come home to her family, that's a blessing. I, nobody deserves to be in jail. Jail is the worst shit you're taking from your family, your kids, your friends. The shit sucks. Motherfucker telling you what the fuck to do all day. You wearing the next motherfucker drawers. All that. Them drawers get recycled. So kids, don't go to jail if you don't want to wear the next man drawers. Straight up. But yeah, I just thought I would touch real, real, real quick. So, um, what do you guys think? Do you think, um... That was a fair deal, or do you think they should have included the Marine too? Because the Marine was sent on a mission, allegedly he got caught. He's already served four years. He's got a 16-year sentence ahead of him. How you not bringing him home for the holidays to see his family when that's your people? You're supposed to take care of your people, man. Listen, if I'm going to war for you, and you could... And you could save me from being a prisoner of war? Why don't you do that then? Why wasn't that in the negotiations? That shit is crazy to me. I don't get it. But, you know, that's the United States for you. That's fucking Joe Biden for you. The slow fuck, the slowest president in the history of the United States. The slowest, the most not knowing what the fuck's going on dude I've ever seen. He's like 100 years old and he's our president. Making decisions like this. 
How you leave that man fucking hanging? That is out fucking rageous. I'm sorry to say. You know, so this is my question. Is she coming home to go straight back to the WNBA? Is she going to get a suspension? Well, what's going on? Because, I mean, th this is a ill shit. And they're trying to say that this Victor Bout guy, he's no harm now. Check this out. Once you got those kind of connections, you're always a threat. So don't get it twisted, okay? Victor Bout's nickname is the Merchant of Death. You don't get that nickname by mistake, okay? Brittany Griner knew she wasn't supposed to bring this shit in her luggage to Russia, okay, she got whooped on the years, I agree with you, that's way too long for some motherfucking weed, I, vape pen, cartridge, whatever you want to say, yes, that is way too much time, I totally agree with everybody on that, I wish her the best, I'm not trying to say nothing bad, but come on man, he's a marine, he's been there for four years and you're not trying to bring him home, I think man, that's some sucker shit, I'm not going to lie to you, that's that's the wackiest shit that I heard. You're going to trade this arms dealer, Victor Bout, and not bring home the spy and Brittany? It should have been a two for one, not a one for one, because that deal don't make sense. That deal does not make sense at all, man, straight up. That's like a real bad deal. That's like me trading $100 for $2. It makes no sense. Why would I trade $100 for $2? Who get in the better end of that deal? I just wanted to touch on that real quick. I'm glad that she's on the next thing s fucking smoking back. And she can get back to her family, her girlfriend, all that stuff. But it just shows no good deed goes unpunished. You put your life on the line for your country. You get caught. They give you 16 years. They could have swapped the merchant of death for Paul Whelan. The Marine and threw in Brittany. It's a vape pen, but see, Russia not stupid. They knew what the fuck they was doing. They wanted to grab her so so they could get him out. They not dumb. She probably been bringing the shit over there, and they knew it. But you know, they were just waiting for the right timing so they could put their plan in effect and get their man, the Merchant of Death, back home so he can get back to being the Merchant of Death. Well, this is Christ 17, hitting you with a real quick update. Brittany, welcome home. I'm glad for you, but please bring the Marine home. That shit is some foul-ass shit, man. Christ 17, baby, catch you on the motherfucking flip side. Like, subscribe, comment, and share, please. Catch you on the flip side, player.